Uh, Sexy People Podcast. I'm Dan Frigolette. I'm here with Onyx Muse. Hello. Thank hello. For, what are you doing? This? I feel like I'm having deja vu. Yeah. A little bit. Well, how long just, ago no, was it's that? No, it's regular. It's that just was regular a long time. I know, again. but I was on, I was on I your know. show like a long, long time ago. We, we could look. The we first could. time I came to Jersey. Yes, and you uh, you educated us on stripper politics. Yes. Yeah. Stripper politics. Isn't and it funny that I was educating on stripper politics and now we're here when I have a feature yeah. in Times Square? Well, I want to I want it to your credit. One of the craziest <laughs> things I'd ever seen was I went with you <laughs> to Sapphire. Mm-hmm. And you were like, yeah, come with me, whatever. Um, and like, I only know the comedy world. So you like went to the club, you like introduced yourself, and then you like met all the girls. And then I think you like, you were like, you were like pimping whoever was the feature <laughs> dancer for that weekend. <laughs> Literally, you were like, you were like, you were like, I that will was get regular. Ad- that was Adriana Chechik, yeah, by the and, way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and she crushed. It. And you were like, I'm gonna get regular clients for the week that I'm here. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna line up that if they get a private dance with me, they can get one with her or whatever no, it was. I don't know exactly even, how any of it works. Not even, no. I've never actually, seen anybody work that hard. Actually, um, I had my regular who was a big time New Yorker yeah. at the time he was even living out there. And uh, I had him come out, his friends came out because I they come and see me right. in Vegas, we party and stuff. And so when they came, it was so funny because I was a house dancer that night. Right. I was not a feature, um, but I wanted to dance because I knew that all the features were dancing there. Right. Um, and, you know, they're on my agency. Or they, we were all signed right. to the same agency. And and they're, um, they, they're known for another world, so they might not even be great dancers. They, you know, it's a, it's a two different worlds, yeah. um, the porn stars and the strippers. So what was funny was I went to the convention. Obviously, I'm the porn star. So then when I'm the house dancer and I was dancing with the girls, there was uh, actually like two girls that were from my club in uh, Vegas, which was great because I was like, oh, yeah. okay, here we go, girls. I'm (laughs) going to let you know when the when (laughs) when the money comes. And then when I met the other girls who are all like, you know, from New York or other places near, they were like, oh, you're from you're from Vegas, which normally strippers don't do that. Right. Like they, like it's all like, bitch, I need to you know, I need to see if I could trust you. Right. If you're like, you know, um, and when I just told them I was from Vegas, they were like, oh, they're like, can can I hit you up right. when I come to Vegas? I'm so like, you hell showed yeah. Up, you're not competition. You're just there for, you're just visiting. So no, so none of the like, the drama that would come with it. Of right. like, new girl. Right. Is she going to take my money? And it's intimidating. And especially coming to New York City. Um, you're talking about the most sophisticated crowd. You're talking about like the baddest bitches. Right. Like, or, you know, and bitches in a positive way. Right. Um, <laughs> where normally I'm coming into their house, they ain't gonna like it. And you know what was embarrassing? This is the most embarrassing part because when you go to a new strip club, there's a little hazing involved. Is that right? Yeah. So you give me garden variety. <laughs> so you go, okay, so I'm known for my red hair, yeah. right? Well, me going in as a house dancer. And the manager, not knowing who I am, he was like, oh, um, he's like, you're great, but the hair. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, excuse me, my hair. I'm like, my hair is like amazing. Yeah. I, I'm like, I go to a really nice hairdresser. Right. And he was like, well, he's like, I don't like new girls to outshine my main girls. So you need to wear a wig. No. Is that really? <laughs> yes. He said, I have to wear a wig. And I was absolutely like, I was like mortified. I was like, you're, you're tripping. Right. And, but, um, uh, one of the nights he did let me like slide because I wore this ugly wig and this, this was the funny part. So I wear this wig, right? <laughs> what, what color, what color it was the was, wig? So they tell you to go to this you have to go to this well, they specific were, they, wig they, store. They were giving a tip, but they <laughs> were like, hey, um, go to this store. Right. And we're talking about, we're not talking about like Sally's, like I'm going to get my good hair. <laughs> I'm going to get my good wig hair. Right. 
It's like almost borderline Halloween costume. The costume. Uh, wig. Yeah. And so I saw it. And, I, you know, I had bangs and shit. Right. And it was like a little, like, darker black brown. And I was like, you're fucking ridiculous. I'm, I'm not putting this on. But I had to do it. And one of the nights, the guy, this guy was like talking to me at the end of the night. And he was like, and then the lights turn on because the club was closing. And he was like, oh, because when he first started talking to me, I kind of didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. But I just, you know, as a hustler, I just made him <laughs> turn into like whatever I needed to talk to him right. about. But then he turns the lights on and he was like, oh, my God. I wasn't talking to you earlier. I was talking to this girl on stage who had the same wig. And then I looked to the left and there was like another girl with the same same wig. wig. And (laughs) at that time I was like, oh, hell no. I am going down to that good wig hair store and I'm buying a better wig. Wait, so how much did you pay for the the, the hoochie wig? I think the hoochie wig was like. 50 bucks. Right. And how much is that wig supposed to be? The other wig was like $200. Okay. And that's like they cut it off a horse Big or a different. human. Oh, there was, like I the, mean, way like more expensive <laughs> other wigs. Yeah. But I was like, mm, you know what? I'm like, I just need to go with what looks good. And t- t- but $200 and is human much. hair or what is it? Yeah, it was okay. human hair so I could wash it. Just shave and an old man. And um, and it was really funny. I yeah. was like making these like snap. So Snapchat was really popular around the time. I, I was remember. making these silly like Snapchats because I was laughing at myself. <laughs> would not let you have your real hair. No. I did not know that even happened. I, I think I came to see you one of the nights. Yeah. I didn't even know. I, think, I just thought I think that was part of the thing. I think the main night he let me slide and yeah. like, like he was like, I- I'll let you do it because I was like letting him know. I was like, hey, I'm. And I'm, you were working hard. Like, I was like, I am an right? adult film star. Yeah. Like this is my agent. We have the, you know, we we have the um, features here uh, and whatever. Yeah. This guy, I mean, because. Every strip club really like you got to understand it's so easy to get hired, you know, normally if you you know what you're doing. But a lot of clubs, you know, they don't know if you're going to stay or not or they don't know if you have the thick skin to take it. So you kind of got to, you know, they're going to do this little like passive aggressive shit and to see if you can. Well, also to see uh if your buttons get frazzled like right. too soon like if you get snappy with him right away you're out of there yeah sure you know so you just got to keep your composure oh yeah mm, okay you're gonna do that oh you're gonna blast this air conditioning on me when i need to get naked sure no problem right. i'll do it but i'm not gonna argue because why oh house mom you're gonna get a little snappy with me i'm just trying to buy a thong you know it's it's there's a lot to working in the strip club yeah. that a lot of people don't realize. And also, if you're going to get, um, you know, uh, in fights with the other girls, right. they don't like that. But there is one rule where you, I mean, now strip clubs are getting way sensitive. But there's a rule that there's only one time that it's acceptable that you can tell a bitch to go fuck off. Which is? If she comes to your stage and you're on stage and there's a customer and she tries to go and talk to that customer while oh, you're on sure. stage. Now, my you don't do it then. My veteran. You do it later? No, you do it right fucking really? there. I've and never seen a, like a stripper fight. It's called holding down your territory. <laughs> so <laughs> This is like, this is like you, ever, you ever read uh, uh, what's uh, Pimp by, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, uh, Slim, what's his, uh, um, you know what I'm talking about? Pimp Slim. No, there's a guy from the 70s who was a pimp, and he had all these like crazy street rules where if something happens, then you have to respond this way. This sounds the same. I mean, yes, it's it's called stripper etiquette. Okay, <laughs> right. write that down. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, stripper etiquette is now the first day that I went to uh, dance, and I thought I was cute little baby stripper. I was right. going in there and. I didn't know the rules and I talked to a guy on stage and this bitch said go fuck off right right in front of the guy yeah and she she goes she goes you ever come to my fucking stage again I'll fucking spit in your face I was like oh Oh, she's on stage Mm -hmm. you're just trying to get the private I didn't know I I didn't know so where are you allowed to go when somebody's on when somebody's on stage everybody else but 
the customers at the stage because that is their time to shine. And also what's really funny is there is no training in the strip club. So you right. got to learn as Sing you or go. Swim. Yeah. And um, if you Which most by the way, of my that's almost every profession now, like uh, the last time I got a training at any job has been like like 15, 16 years. Like we don't, nobody cares anymore. Right. Like it's like you got a day. If you don't figure it out, you're done. Yeah, and and if you're weak minded, you'd give up and right. you'll cry sure. to your mama. Sure. Um, but that that's why it's about having thick skin. So, as I talk to a lot of like veteran strippers and these new era strippers are coming in. Uh, so very sensitive. What's, what's a new? Oh, I see. What very you're saying. sensitive. I see what you're so saying. when I've told a girl off because uh, she's at my stage she goes and cries to the manager it's what like go ahead bitch go cry to the manager because i'll tell you one thing i pay my house fee and i right. tip motherfuckers yeah. go tell him right you know wait so what's the new era that you're just saying somebody in their 20s Is that what that yeah means? so this year the the new strippers <laughs> that are coming in um you know they're every year there's new so yeah. i would like what i really would say is the new strippers after the pandemic yeah where they could be young or they could be new right little becky was working at the bank and right. you know what becky was like hey i want to be a stripper I, right. you know what fuck fuck the nine to five uh fuck the benefits i'm gonna go i think i'm hot enough right yeah. so social media is um yeah misleads everybody this became the big joke during and, the pandemic that you should just start and an then OnlyFans. a lot of only fans so now OnlyFans. it's it's also the only fans are you competing porn stars. With, with people who have supposedly like top one percent only fans they think they can come and well, feature this dance is the, or this is the thing i think there's definitely an opportunity where the worlds can collide yeah. that um these one percent girls definitely if you have that many fans come on down yeah. come on down and be a feature let's see yeah. what you got right. let's see if your audience comes out your fan base um but what they need to also keep in mind is don't discredit the porn stars who were doing this before only fans became because we have real fans we have we have the internet yeah. okay we have porn hub right porn hub and other you know, um, tube sites where people are on there. My oldest scenes, I still get new people who watch it or I have people yeah, that are in my DMs thanking us for our, you know, porn that we've made years ago yeah. that still there's brings like, love. Yeah, there, yeah, there's like, there's scenes that I, ha that I have that I've seen that are like, and uh, we're not Hall of Fame and we're not my, hiding behind paywalls like yeah. we have our paywalls now, which is very liberating. And it's very like it has literally opened like total liberation to so many like creators sure. or I would say porn stars yeah. who are now creators who are now running their own business. They don't need the help of agents if, right. they, if they don't want to. Um, but, you know, some still shoot for productions yeah. or they do features but before it was not that easy so all these girls are like i'm a porn star on only fans i'm in my bedroom or i'm personally making scenes like step into our world yeah we well, had to do those with 20 people around probably yeah. more um and and male talent like that we barely met right. maybe we didn't even shoot with them we would just get like their Twitter like an, a week before with yeah. their name. I have, I've heard stories where that's that, like that would be a luxury. A luxury. That you would know if, a week oh, before. If I could go to set and be like, excuse me, um, can I like a la carte pick my male talent? Right, right. And can I also not have the, the money shot on my face? Can <laughs> right. we do that today? Right. Oh, Let's God, no. <laughs> Kilfy, Kilfy. <laughs> right, right, sure. <laughs> I want to ask you this. This is uh, um, it's not even a working theory. It's just sort of what I think the industry is moving to because of what you're talking about, uh, because you can just be somebody at home and like uh, playing with yourself and working with your boyfriend or whatever your situation is. My dildos. <laughs> and, and, right. And you can just be a person who like, figures out the algorithm. Do you think the the uh, the archetype of who is in this industry now has changed? Because before you sort of had to be. You had to like be good in public. You had to be able, like like talk to people and like 
perform in front of a group of people. Now you can just be by yourself at home and then maybe figure out how to trend. And maybe that's a different type well, of person. Well, you know what was crazy was, I mean, I can't speak for other girls and their agents, but we, like, the agency that I was with, like, me doing this interview, this is, like, that was unthinkable. Right. I, God forbid I fucking do an interview right. with anybody. Because they don't want you pushing your own brand? They don't want you to ruin the fantasy of your image and right. your reputation. I, like... A lot of us are like typecasted right. or, you know, we're the horny, sexy teen right. or. Was that yours? Um, I did get typecasted yeah. and I hated it. Yeah. Because I'm small, you know, I'm petite, I'm short. How I tall look, are you? I'm five two. <laughs> and I look like, you know, that was always like you look the younger role. Than you than you are. And what was also different was I was not submissive. So they would put me in kind of submissive right. type of roles. Which and I that, didn't like that. Isn't that kind of all like um, standard porn is, is standard male porn. dominant? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there wasn't a choice. And actually, if I were to ever like suggest to like the director, like, hey, um, I kind of like a dominant role. Right. Oh, pff, No like not even considered you know yeah. it's you gotta stick to the format and now and now i have the ability to be a dominatrix one day maybe i'm just like the hot sexy milf or maybe i'm a cosplay alien girl right. i mean there's so many things that you can do it's so exciting and I come, I like, I, I really do. Like, even I don't want to be negative towards these OnlyFans yeah. creators. We're not picking anybody. We're, I'm on When there, we're talking about something, we're talking I'm, about the, either the worst or the best. Right. <laughs> and middle, I really think, normal. I mean, you know, there's so many girls that, like, they write somebody or they go, oh, if I get this many likes, yeah. I'm going to join, I'm going to do an OnlyFans. No, just do it. Yeah. Just do it and learn as you go. Find your brand strategy because you really do need to have a strategy and just go for it. Yeah. Um. I, You know what I found, too, was like I got like a professional camera. I started learning how to edit right. and Photoshop. I really don't. And I, I try to do very like minimal yeah. um, editing, but, you know, you got to do a little bit. Um, and it was good, yeah. but I noticed that my cell phone content was way better, way better, pushing way better. a lot more. Th we're in this weird space with, with like, if they're in the, if they're in the, the market for stuff like, like what used to be Chatterbait, which might now be the OnlyFans stuff. Yeah, my free the, cams. The lower quality stuff has a realism to it that like, I was trying to explain to somebody my age that like. Everybody like younger than I think you're close to my age, but everybody younger than me, um, and then people that were in high school in the last like eight or ten years, those people all got nudes of their like high school girlfriends. Right. Like that's how this thing happened. Like I didn't get nudes sent to me when I was in high school. I was in high school like before the year two thousand. So like this whole thing has changed. So like the way people want to view their porn and the realism of it is more like Oh, no, I just want it on my phone. I just want somebody to send me their pussy on my phone. Yeah. Because that's what I'm used to. That's what I'm, like, like, like normal to me. Like, right. are huge. Yeah. And what's really cool is now, like, I don't mean to say it like this, but, like, instead of you going to, like, McDonald's, you can literally say, go to a girl and be like, hey, I want you giving a good blowjob and maybe you, you fuck that dildo for me and say my name. Sure, um, it's an upcharge to say your name, but yeah, and then I can have it to you within three to four days, yeah, or or whatever. Like you really like. I remember seeing somebody spreadsheet, and they were like, they were like Roy, Dan, Bill, Jeremy. They're like, hang on, I got it. Because I, I, they really judge you yeah. on also your execution, sure, the distri distribution. Have of you ever it? been told that that you that you didn't give uh, the name with gusto, and they're like, listen, you were kind of like, no, lazy they never, my name. they never cared about the name but maybe like i didn't get it to them as fast enough i see right well, yeah because they're like because you get the tip before right yeah so you're all celebrating well, everybody's worried well so we're in a new world where for however many years let's let's call it um well i've only been alive for 40 so let's call it for 38 years you didn't really have to pay for your porn and you could like and you would 
get it and you would use it and all those sorts of things. And so now you've given someone money and you're like, there's like a little bit of like freaking out. They're like, what if they don't give it to me? Oh, so there's a like lot. Panicking. These guys, yeah. these guys, I mean, you know. And there's no other way and, to do it. You're not going to make it and then try luckily, to sell it. Luckily, I am blessed to have a lot of like fetish guys that yeah. are like my worshiping guys. You know, so if Goddess needs to take a week to get your <laughs> shit, that's what Goddess is going to do, right? Sure. Um, so they're very understanding, but th then it's like you get the horny guys that are yeah. like, hey, hey, hey. I got to come. I got to come. I got to come. When are you going to send it? Trying to come. Trying to come. I'm trying to come. And trying to come. Like, maybe My wife's out of town. I'm trying to come. <laughs> maybe they sent it and I was messaging them and I'm at dinner and yeah. I'm maybe in a compromise situation right. where I can't necessarily make it right right now, right. but I'm going to go make it but right. then i gotta like do my makeup i gotta like get get good sometimes and what i've noticed too is like i've been getting really comfortable in like my natural state yeah so if a guy like sends it to me i'm like okay uh you're just gonna get it i don't have any makeup Some on people are into that. i send it and i'm into that they get more turned on i'm into that yeah yeah there's <laughs> like i don't know the, the 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 idea that you have to get all done up and like there was a thing that when uh, that came out, I want to say four or five years ago, there was this like uh, porn stars with and without makeup, and it was like the most mind blowing shit. It's like <laughs> it was Google because it was like people that I was like, and they don't look anything like the people like right. like like you wouldn't recognize them walking down the street like that level right. of makeup change. Um, we're at a place now where you were talking about it before, where it's like we're so connected with the people that we want to give money to, that we care about like every aspect of who they are, authentically, or at least what we're what we're and getting to see. Fetishes now, sure, like you know some guys. I remember one time I got like French tip nails, which oh, yeah. you know oh, that yeah. was. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember. The, I remember the first time I saw French tip toenails in college. I remember it like like it was yesterday. It. I was like, I didn't even know that could happen. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my because god! Because I um I went to the nail salon. I that tell day girls and, and they I think it, they think it's think, dumb. I couldn't yeah. think of like a yeah. color, so I said, "Fuck it, let's just do yeah. French tip." I did a live show. And the guys were going my, crazy. My, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's little things. Red lipstick. Sure. That is huge. And also, it's like color theory. So if you're doing like a live show, um, whether it's on OnlyFans, um, I know on uh, cam shows, it's really popular to wear red yeah. because it automatically attracts the guy. Is that right? Oh, yeah. It's like psychologically. I'm, I think I'm part B because when somebody's wearing yellow, like even if I'm not attracted to them, if they're wearing yellow, I'm like I like it stops me every you time. You know on Instagram. what's funny is I have a really funny story about yellow. Yeah. Is um so <laughs> so when guys don't tip me on my cam shows, sure. I go okay, guys. I'm gonna do something really like unsexy, and I put a banana outfit on, <laughs> and I start smoking weed. I'm down for and that. And then, um, <laughs> in reality, also what I'm doing is now there's like a big blob of yellow yeah. on my screen so it makes guys like click it and i actually right? drive a lot of traffic because it's showing up somewhere as a preview yeah think? so in the um not on only fans you know there's not an explore page yeah. but on the cam shows there yeah. is and so it's almost well, I'll like get an email. anybody I follow i'll get an email yes. and have a quick screenshot and of what's going and on and so when live. you log in even though it shows that model it's also letting you know of other models. So yeah, maybe yeah. you get a little distracted. Like you saw like a hot girl while yeah. you're looking you at a, the girl. Or you see a banana. Yeah, and you and see you a banana. you got to fucking tune in. So um, I used to have guys like they tip really like they laugh because they're like, oh, you know what? That That's a good one. Yeah. And they're enjoying themselves. And it's like t that's a, like adding comedy to the sex space is um, it's so it's so much of how and why people fuck. Right. In, in person and it's so hard to add comedy to like porn level content it's like it's it, like trying to join those two places has been yeah really it, hard. it can be a little too goofy yeah. if they don't do it right and so to be fun and funny i is actually sexy. there's a lot of porn girls that are going into comedy they're yeah. doing stand-up and vice and versa and yes everyone that i knew that was a female in comedy i'm just generalizing it's not true uh, only started fans? in only fans yeah. yeah and they crushed it during the pandemic yeah and even if they didn't they have a joke about how they have an right, audience. Right. So. And um, what's funny is I know, um, so I know uh, the Shore family who are yeah. with Comedy Store. And I've, I've been meeting a lot of comedy. Yeah. Uh, Joey Diaz is yeah. a great friend of mine. Sure. I just had Spanky Hayes on my radio nice. show. 
and I'm learning about them. And I was, it was funny, like they invited, they were like, uh, Scott Shore, he was like, you should, you should do like a stand up because yeah. you crack him we up. I, I tell him, I'm like, I'm a sexy comedian in a really, or I'm a comedian in a sexy frame. And I, I thought about it like it would be funny, but I know that sometimes when girls are either strippers or they're yeah. kind of in the adult industry and they use jokes that, um, it's kind of a misogynistic also, um, perspective that they don't get good feedback because you know they're being like ultra sexy or using their sexy stories which i think is really funny how do i respond to this so you're already you'd already jump the line because you're you're going to be a hot female who's fun funny porn star so they use all those things so then automatically you're going to get like a a a layer of hate right then on top of that you're going to get a layer of like oh i could maybe fuck her because now she's in my industry then you're going to get this like just within the in the inner industry then all comedians think comedians aren't funny so if you're not a comedian you come in and do comedy you're already not going to be yeah there's nothing you can do but again then you're like you're in a good position because if i come in and i'm not a comedian right god forbid i should get fame somewhere else and then try to bring it back to stage that i've been doing for 15 years i'll get hate but then the it's the predominantly male uh, white comedy audience is not going to want to fuck me so they're just going to like feel that I'm competition so you're like you can literally like you're like dodging you're like getting bullets uh, uh, shot at you while dodging them at the same time right so you right. actually could start in comedy tomorrow and probably have a better career than me by Wednesday. I mean, I, I think it's, I just need to just do it to <laughs> right. see, just like anything should. else. Well, I still want to do these uh, comedians or porn star shows. Yes. Um, so if, if you actually really want to do that, we can we can, we can can do that. Yeah. Um, but also, you could just call Joey Diaz and he would have you open for him tomorrow. I will see Joey Diaz <laughs> tomorrow, actually. And yeah, no, I've already talked to him about it. I even had Spanky Hayes was also offering because really, if you think about it, Com- you know, people who love comedians and people who love porn are kind of the same well, people. And then here's the other <laughs> thing. When you're at the level of like a Joey Diaz or whatever, and you have that kind of audience, um, there's like no there's like no like uh, ability to fail. Like you go up and you do whatever. It doesn't matter. The audience is there to see him. You go up with him, for him, ahead of him. They know that you're there for whatever. They're, it's just going to be an open, warm, happy crowd because they're going to get to see the person they want to see. And also I can like get advice from them. You know what I love about Joey and his style is his storytelling. Yeah. He can tell his story like no other like you can i can literally get like a bowl of popcorn and just listen to him go and right. stuff and I, lo- I you know i smoke weed with him and stuff he's amazing but i always think about that i'm like how can i do that with my stripper stories i have so so many many stripper stories yeah. that um i've already like you know i have my radio show and i've gone on a few radio shows and i tell like just a tidbit i even yeah. had a I had a French producer come into my strip club. Actually, it was like a bikini bar. And he paid me um, money for, he wanted four stories yeah. of um, f- to use as a inspiration for a stripper series. Okay. And he and it was with Major. Like, he, he had um, HBO and yeah. Cinemax, so... Um, you know, it was major network. Um, I don't know what he did. And with you sold it. them the I sold it to them. Yeah. yeah so they, I don't know. You, I don't know if they used it's it. It's you telling the story or just it's, your story. It's me. So what was funny was, uh, he wanted me to show, um, tell him stories of incidents with other strippers. So right. I was we like, perfect. Yeah. All the bitches that I hate that I had like yeah. an incident. I had Did a real names? drama. I didn't name names. <laughs> Um, I named character names, okay. you know, stripper names. Yeah. Um, but I said the scenarios. I like it. Wait, is there is there a is there a stripper drama on television that that, that has any? Not necessarily. I don't know if we can um, consider showgirls as. What's well, a movie? That, yeah, that such was a, a movie, a Vegas, and it was actually yeah. a different type of dancing. Right, you know, right. That was like more Vegas showgirl yeah. style, and then she became a stripper. Hustlers, yeah. J-Lo. Actually, um, the dance, the choreographer who taught J-Lo um, yeah. her um, piece, um, how to do pole work, she's my instructor. No, sure. Yeah, so, um, but also, too, the only thing that I didn't like about it, it was absolutely amazing. I thought the movie was going to be show light of dancers. Yeah. 
in Hustlers. a positive in a positive light. Yeah. I don't have to drug men to get money. It's and and also I don't know if they were doing that to maybe scare women who wanted to step into oh, stripping. Oh, I didn't see. It. Well, it, uh, wherever we're at, there's always there's always. I was on a podcast recently where um, men older than me started talking about uh, sex work, and then they like immediately like like um, joined it with like trafficking, and I was like, oh no, that's not at all what's going on anymore. And I like couldn't explain to these people because of what they have somewhere planted in their head. Uh, right. That this, and I feel like that's just that's just Hollywood's um, like depiction of this right. whole thing. And, and I that's don't what we're trying to I, work on. And I don't want to, um, you know, say that that doesn't happen. Yeah. There has been stories of this happening personally. I mean, I think I have encountered a few pimps, but I was so sure. strong minded that yeah. I didn't fall in their line. That's I mean, so I didn't. I mean, they were around. You yeah. clearly saw it, but I just you focused. You're you're not susceptible to the to the pimp cult. Talk. I mean, I just <laughs> I knew. It. Well, the thing was is I wasn't submissive, right, and I right. wasn't um, I wasn't in need of a male like help. Right. Like right. I was like, fuck you. I could do this on my own, sure. and I did. I I mean. First strip club that I went to, and this was before I joined the adult industry, um, I was like really in a pinch. This was, like I was in the verge of like, I have a meeting with a porn director. If I wanted to step into that, yeah. or is there another route? And I went into two routes before I officially did porn. And I fell one into financial domination. Okay. I want to talk about that a little and, bit because I think and, a lot of people don't know what it and is. And two, my so before I did porn, um, I was a go-go dancer yeah. for major like strip. Uh, I'm sorry, nightclubs across like Southern California, okay. and um, and then I was also dancing at music festivals like Electric Daisy Carnival in oh, Las Vegas. Like a, yeah, and um, I think Wait, I they hit pay people to just like be in the crowd and dance. Yeah, no shit. Oh yeah, know. there's oh, like know. twenty troops. Yeah. Um, it's very selective. It's yeah. real, like it's not necessarily like choreography, but it is a particular type of like go, like stage performing. Got it. Where we are performing live with these electronic DJs. Oh, you're on stage. You're on stage. On stage, yeah, yeah. two hundred thousand people sure. in like total you like to, clown like costumes. I'll like show you. I'll like show you some people. pictures. Yeah, yeah. You have to hype people up. Wait. Wait, let's circle all the way back. So when I when I met you, you were like, I'm going to walk over to Sapphire and see if I can figure it out. <laughs> now you're feature dancing. Is this the first time feature dancing for Sapphire? No. Uh, actually, yes, for Sapphire. Okay. I did do a few features before for some other clubs yeah. in different locations. So this is big. This is a big this deal. This is huge. And I am in, by the I'm time in this New drops, York City. Happened. I am in Times Square. Yeah. This is like um, a stripper's dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, I think you. I think you could raise it up. I think it's more than just. I could raise it. I actually this year too. I went to Miami for the first time. Yeah, and the first I, time. And well, um, I actually like I went to work at a cannabis convention in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. And because I'm just such a hustler, I was like, uh, f I'm gonna work that. Yeah, no problem. But yeah. fuck that. I'm renting a Turo, a yeah. car, and I am driving to Miami, and sure. I am going to. You're so uh, close. Audition you at eleven, and that's what I did. That's a big deal. Uh, huge. I mean, eleven is that's a nightclub strip yeah. club. Very different type of crowd. You yeah, know that that's, that's that is really going to test you out yeah. as a stripper. Harder hustle. Um, but man, oh my God, Miami is so fun and yeah. it was so exciting. You're such a hustler. And yeah, and I was really tired. Like I was so I would. Yeah. Work, get off at like fucking sh like down here, like six in the morning, drive or get ready because one of my regulars has a penthouse over in Miami. So he lets me stay there for free. Yeah. So, you know, I go to the penthouse, right. I get dressed up and then nine o'clock. I'm supposed to be nine, nine o'clock. I'm supposed to be at the convention in like the oh, you're dancing until no, 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I would literally and you go back. I would take no a, sleep. I would take a cat nap. No, I, I get I get a cat nap. Okay, like so, like Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. Just um. Get, just get your so minutes. I have a motto that, uh, I just rock star it. Like, what would a rock star do? Sure. They would fucking fuck you know, sleep. <laughs> they would do it 
you know, wake up, put their face on and go. And that's what I there. did. Yeah. I think the last day I showed up late, but it was OK because my I had my boss and our um, some of the people from the event come to the to come to my strip Hilarious. club. And they got I mean, everybody got wasted. Yeah. And this and this was amazing. I, I like so 50 Cent was performing that weekend and at the club at the club at 11 and they start late like they do their performance like at like four in the morning right really? so my boss and stuff they were fucked up they left right before 50 cent performed because it's too late so yeah it's like it's for just, them for go. them right they're go. having a great time yeah. um and so 50 cent comes out i'm watching and then this guy goes hey uh are you doing anything i'm like no and he's like you want to do he's like you want to do dances while we watch 50 Cent, yeah, I do. So I was literally giving a lap dance, had my top off, and 50 Cent was performing right in front of my face. And you're, is that is that like it's part of the deal? You're allowed to do that in that little. Yeah, I was front? allowed to do that. That's great. I don't think I was allowed to hang on the balcony though <laughs> with my tits out, but I did. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So I, I there's a thing I want to talk about that that uh, we're on the verge of skipping, and um, I really want to talk about it because I haven't been in this position before. Um, because I'm a weirdo and I'm old and uh, and I, I don't have kids of my own, I'm starting to have this like pregnancy fetish. You recently <laughs> uh, had a child. The whole time that you were pregnant, you were making content. So this tell me about all okay, of that. What happens? So Can I'm you gonna tell you. Those I'm, a, you get I'm gonna tell weirdos? you. I'm so excited that now I can t- officially consult for any <laughs> uh, expected mommies yeah. during pregnancy. Yeah. So I was pregnant, and you know you're kind of going through this depression. Like, is my career over? I, yeah. <laughs> is this it for me? You thought Am because you thought because you were gonna have a child, or you thought also, your body was gonna get. And also because I'm growing. Yeah. You know I'm growing. You know, it starts off small and then, right. you know, gets big. So do you in your head think you're not going to be able to get back to whatever size you were before while you're it's being a pregnant? fear. Is you, it, yeah. it, it, it's it's the rule of what if. Yeah. What if I don't? What if I can't? What if I what 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 if this just really affects me? Yeah. So I like religiously, I studied any type of YouTube channel that was talking about like getting moms back. getting back yeah, to no working shit. out. And I did like workouts up until I was pregnant to where the point like it was it's just walking for you <laughs> right. it's just waddling actually right. and so anyways as I'm doing that you know getting my mind right about that I had a girlfriend who was a porn star and she was like oh she's like it's so exciting you're pregnant and she's like are you camming she's like you're gonna make so much money and I was like oh. I was like no I'm like I'm gonna cam after yeah. I have the baby and she's like the fuck she's like no you're not she's like you need to get on camera now now right while you're in your prime and you need to make this money so i was really body conscious i was so nervous and and i also on social media i hid it so well that so that was the thing i like like literally you like popped up one day and I was like, what's going on? This is, she's like eight months pregnant. What's going on? <laughs> How did we go from zero to eight months? And what did I miss the four month content? What's so going on? I just, I couldn't put on my, my regular like social media that I was, you know, large and in charge Why? because it was just like a mind thing. You it, thought I couldn't, I couldn't even picture myself because I was so used to like my small size but I really loved my pregnant yeah. tits. Like I yeah. loved. I was like, "This is the boob job from God." Like, <laughs> Thank you right. very much. Um, but wait, anyways, wait, 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 let's go through some of the thoughts. So you're thinking that like the people that are into you aren't going to be into this new pregnancy. You're thinking that if people think that you're pregnant, they're going to be like bummed out, and it like I ruins your single even thing. I couldn't tell my like, regulars. The... My regulars were calling me, letting me know they're coming to town. Yeah. I'm like, I cannot go to the strip club. They're smoking right. going can on. You, can you? Can you? I don't think person? so, but I've heard that some girls have. You so know, I don't know how to explain why um, I'm into it. I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm yeah. not doing it all the time. But if somebody's really hot and I'm already into them and they're pregnant, it's out of control. And if I see a hot so, pregnant person, um, I, it's out of control. I spent like like uh, uh, four weeks on FetLife once just trying to find like a pregnant <laughs> lady. And I just kept finding pregnant ladies from 
from like two years ago. So this and I was is like, the no! thing. I was like, okay, you know what? Social media, I'm just going to take selfies where you really can't tell, but some people kind of notice, you know, yeah. your face gets a little yeah. more swollen. Well, and we stuff. were like, what's going on? And, um, and I, like, oh I had God, these like only up to my shoulder type of like yeah. pictures that I was posing. But then on my you know my more onyx muse page i like i had to make the decision like if i'm gonna do this i gotta fucking do this right, right? and um you have a limited and window. so i did my first cam show uh-huh. pregnant like i once you announced it oh they come in hard sure. they come in Right away, I did have, I had to have some limitations with it just because I was uncomfortable. I had so many requests about lactation videos, sure. which I, I saw. Th- by the way, I wanted to talk to you about this because I saw somebody on TikTok yesterday. I don't know how it got on my feed. I'm not, I'm not mad, but I, it's not what I was looking for. But there's a lady uh, breastfeeding yes. on on there, and then she, she, they're not getting flagged, so well, she's full full nipple breastfeeding on TikTok. Technically, and, they can't flag them for that because. Right. It's more maternal. But I know for thing. sure who's looking at that but, video. Right. The AI, the AI about. cannot determine right, right. Th- about that. But what was crazy is why I didn't do lactation videos. I, I didn't know how to work my boobs, right? right. And so I right. would tell the guys, I'm like, that's personal. Yeah. Like, it's no. Funny. Like, funny. Yeah. you know, because I didn't know how to. Like, It's like the first time like a guy I, wants has to film his cum shot or like squirt, deliver his cum shot. Like, I know how to squirt. Yeah. And that took time. But yeah. I was like, I don't know you how to get him out of there. I was <laughs> like, and that, I was like, and I'm saving those for baby. Right. Sure. So that was my li- my limitation. Did you sell your breast milk now? No, I did not. <laughs> so that w- that was one thing. I should have started here. I, <laughs> I kept my breast milk. To myself, and yeah. actually, I feel better for that because sure. my daughter had a really hard time latching, and it was yeah. like so stressful. Any mom knows, like breastfeeding and changing your diet and not smoking weed is yeah. really hard. Because if you smoke weed when you're breastfeeding, you then get your you get your baby high, it, and you don't want to do that. Yeah. And you know, it but is you could do windows, right? You could like pump and then go smoke and then wait and no, then pump. You didn't do anything. You of that. cannot smoke. You just at didn't all. get high at all, dude. Wow. I one minute I found out I was pregnant, I made the sacrifice because wow. I love my child, but no smoking. And you, it wait, was b- hard. Uh, weed smoking uh, during pregnancy is bad. It's okay. So the whole thing is, is there's a lot of like you know information. Flimsy. It's myth. It's not a myth. Right. Personally, you if out. you're lighting up. And you're, you know, sure. just inhaling, you sure. know, having any of that um, chemicals, like just don't do it. Like, what if you give your baby asthma? Sure. What if you affect them, give them a, de- a defect? Like, and trust me, like I got a home girl, like I did kind of smoke weed with her when she was pregnant. <laughs> and it was a little, it was a little weird. I was like, um, I don't know if we should do this. But she was very more like uh, all her babies are healthy. Right, no, no right. baby was harmed. Right. <laughs> no baby was um, harmed in the making so I of think the story. It's, I think it's a personal choice. I know yeah. with women, like you can, or like when you're pregnant, you can have a glass of wine. What happens if you eat weed when you're? Um, you can still, tell you can you tell how little you, I'm involved in marijuana when I say things like eat weed because that chemical, like anything you really? eat, is going to baby. Yeah, and you don't know they like, they don't they're not developed. We have to work to on this research. It. We have to work on this research I together. I think to be healthy, just take a break. Sure. It, it's going to be for the better of your child. Your baby is going to come out healthy. Yeah. Um, then give at least three months to breastfeeding. And if you cannot get it, like I could not pump, I couldn't produce for shit. Really? Okay. It was like a little bit, but not enough to feed her oh, for shit. her appetite. So I had to do it. And once I was, I mean, I made cookies. I had this fucking nasty herbs. I was change i was drinking so much taking, water you were taking breast i was feeding. you were on the breastfeeding <laughs> diet a, a i went yeah what do they want and you then, to eat because there's like lactation cookies it's like supposed oh, to shit. help you produce i even did a, i went to a lactation like this was the final shot i went to a lactation nurse and this woman was like i could do it she's like i could get any baby to do it i was like cool get my baby my baby she was trying. She was trying to put the baby just, to latch on you. Yeah, like oh. on my nipple. It wasn't, I and, thought she just, and then she was yours. just like, maybe we should take a break. And so when it just came to the point where I was like, there's no way, and I don't want my baby to get um, 
be frustrated right. or be cranky because she's not having enough. So I remember the day that I smoked my joint and I decided I'm going to formula. Who I smoked that joint. I got right. so high, right. like so high. It was um, it was refreshing, but I know formula. It's very controversial, but you know what? Look, if I can't produce, I'm gonna feed my baby. We were talking about strippers fighting a minute. I know. We now we're talk talking about formula about and breastfeeding. <laughs> I know it's controversial. I don't okay, want to step on anything. But wait, so wait, so I want to the, just, back how to much the content. pregnant content do we have? A lot to buy. A lot. How like, do we buy it? Uh, on mini vids, my profile is still going strong. I have some videos on there. Did you make it just a pregnant profile? No, no, okay, no, okay, no. Okay, okay. I uh, transformed that from the profile that I had yeah. previously. Um, my free cams, my content is there. Actually, I got flagged on OnlyFans for, for my pregnant content. For being pregnant. I had to take all that stuff no back. Shit. Yeah. This this is continues to be like uh, an ongoing um, discussion point where they're starting to shrink what's allowed. Yeah, more and more and, and more. So and pretty also, much at this point, you have to you have to be in your you have to be in your own house masturbating and and holding up a release. And form. you know what was crazy was I did a really hot like panty stuffing video yeah. where I said I hate that. Why I do I hate that so much? They they flagged me Why and they, they said stuffing? because. It wasn't Foreign meant objects. for 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 uh, uh, penetration, yeah. and what? But by the way, what the if? guy who bought it, very happy customer. Yeah. I had the controversial I panties. Had to, sure. um, Did you sell it as the controversy panties? No, actually, you what was funny was I had it. a regular who um, cash apps. Maybe I don't want to tell on myself. Who sends me money? Yeah. Um, to do like a Skype show. Yeah. Um, he. He wanted me to do that, and then he was like, hey, he's like, why don't you record this? He's like, but then take the audio off so you don't hear me talking to you right now, and you sell it on sure. OnlyFans. And I was yeah. like, oh, my God. I was like, you are so smart. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I was like, thanks for helping me out. And then, yeah, once I posted it, it I got flagged, and I was, and then the That's guy so who saw it, he was like, oh, my God. He's like, that was so fucking hot. And yeah. I'm like, the, wait, only one person saw it before I got flagged? Uh, that video. Oh, the yeah. guy who's yeah, who, well, who commissioned it. Yeah, well, technically two. Yeah, so the main guy yeah. who uh, did my show with me and then the, the my other guy who bought it because I talked about it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so – only I think, I is think, really controversial. I think you should just do panty stuffings, get them flagged, and then sell those as controversy panties. I yeah, think because the price uh, OnlyFans, you know, it, and it's still a weird world because yeah. if you know, I'm, I'm sure you heard, they had the little scare yeah. that they I were have, have not going to, yeah. um, you know, uh, Last, it was a year they were ago. not going to have it was like a year uh, ago to, to, to date. distribute yeah. a, explicit right. Con- content and then backed up so right now there's a big like drive for performers to um be prepared start and start our own shit and what i've been doing is i've been data collecting fuck only fans of like if they were to basically say they were fuck uh, you know, ex- explicit and content might. creators, yeah. and they may, they may. I and heard, not, and not just, I and heard not just that the company site, sold. A woman owns it, and yeah. we don't know if she's for us th- 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 or happen? against us. Oh, I didn't know. We that. don't know. Yes. When was it? When did it sell? It sold. I want to say possibly last year, but don't get me wrong. Yeah. Actually, one of my cam customers um, told me about it. Yeah, and so. Um, so, you know, we, we're we in this, we're in this like kind of realm yeah. of, I don't know. Well, and that's where we are with everything. It's like, I'm getting you, flagged you need, for a lot of things. We social media things. We need these other big things. But then at the end of the day, they don't actually care about the creator. Right. So we're in this pinch. And YouTube, even when this I, thing on YouTube, trying to put this on YouTube is becoming more and more of a problem. We're getting flagged for videos from five years ago. You're experiencing the censorship. Out of control. It's out of control. And that's why, um, I am com- I'm working with cannabis companies yeah. because they are also dealing with the censorship. Yes. And un- I saw these like crazy them, like um, um they are trying to add they incorporate porn stars yeah. at their events. I just did sure. a booth at Champs in Las Vegas. Yeah. And that was pretty different. I think I so Vegas this was the same time that Vegas is all audit- legal now? Yes. 
Yes, we're all legal, recreational. Um, rec- uh, recreational and they do have medical um and it's big business yeah. in um uh, vegas and they're going to be moving into consumption lounges those are the next yeah, step right. because the licensing for casinos you know they're never right. going to conform to being able to have casino like gambling um oh, alcohol and weed oh i didn't know so that. now with tourism and all you can, these dispensaries one place that you can go just well smoke. they need to put the people somewhere yeah. where they can safely consume because can I go to a casino right now get a drink and smoke weed no not at all interesting not at all are they are they cramming that in with the old smoking law no um it's still like controversial i think like you can't even have a dispensary within t- 10 miles of Weird. the strip so Cookies is the only dispensary that's on the strip, but they are like all the way at the end by yeah. the strat on your way to like where downtown. You, yeah, where you can get a where you can get a quick wedding or or jump off. Yeah. the I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Or you can jump off the right. You, you can do the bungee jumping off the strat, right? Yeah, because you know it's why, no why man's not? land down on that end of the. Why strip. not? No you man's know? land. Yeah. So, um, well, uh, so wait, let's 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 pump let's pump how to pay for your stuff. I know we're on. I know we got a boogie out of here. So yeah, um, how do we pay for your stuff? What's the actual uh, things? I can't uh, put the links in the in the comments okay. anymore because they'll flag. So let's say what so your you guys are is. just going to have to pay attention. Um, so if you go to my website, onyxsocialclub.com. Um, just fill out the form. You'll get a free link to my OnlyFans. Is that how you're doing it? Yes. Wow. Or you can go to um, onyxmuse.com. You could go to my free page because um, I have a free page and I do have a I VIP think you can page. Save the page. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's uh, it it's technically onlyfans.com onyxmusexxx. Perfect. But I have a forwarding thing to make it easier. So just onyxmuse.com. Go Great. straight to. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, perfect. My uh, my OnlyFans pages. My buy some um, pregnancy stuff. Buy Instagram. Some, uh, well, you can't do stuff. it on OnlyFans, but on my but. my free cams you can. So on my Twitter is onyxmusexxx. I can post a lot more salacious stuff right. on there, but if you do want to get That's the PG to Twitter for keeping PG thirteen version, go available. to my us. Instagram onyxmusexo. Okay, it's my sixth Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. There was that period of time where we were like, oh, as long as you get like a million, you're good. And then they started cutting out like legit celebrities. Dude, I for I mean, the random stupidest content. things. Like if What's the I weirdest thing damn you near. For? Okay, so the first one was really funny. I did a shoot and my photographer like sent me a picture. Like I had a ball gag in my mouth yeah. and I was on the phone and I posted a picture and they said, uh, hard at work or hardly working, and yeah. then bam, I Why? got deleted. I don't know. Hilarious. The ball gag might have been, you know, a little too much, but I also started to learn. I wonder if learn, because you were texting, it looked like you were asking for I help. I think it was That's also true. hashtags, so now you have to be very careful right. with the hashtags that you put in. Yeah. The AI is after you. That's why a lot of girls, the link in the bio, you need to you need to be smart with your yeah. link in the bio. You cannot have any OnlyFans links. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's new. You're not that's allowed to. I got some tips and tricks, and, and that's actually. Let's fucking start so your that's seminar. That's why I have, um, I'm starting my own agency, so I have Pump that shit. Right banana management. I'm also. Are you going to wear the, the banana suit? Well, no, um, I'm the owner of this page called Women Eating Bananas. Okay. Uh, I help the girls. Is there content? Get Instagram growth. Yes, it's a private page, but will you help follow men? it. Will you help men get Instagram growth? I can, but these men, they they prefer the ladies. But for men, we have another, you know, segment for that. But yes, Women Eating Bananas, okay. it has over like 500K followers. Yeah. Real engaged followers. And I can make sure that like girls. So uh, the guy that I'm partnering with who started it, he has a uh, company called Booster Sauce. Yeah. And what he does is he we're working to learn the algorithm and help girls get social media growth. Yeah. 
while also being able to promote their OnlyFans pages, but you have to, you know, you just have to do it in a real right, subtle way. Right, because it's like a, there's a niche to the, to because you can get growth, but like the person who's getting, who's doing cooking videos and, and a person who's showing their ass and are And there's different. a, uh, you know, and there's also like, we have like a very detailed like list of how to get the most engaged yeah. engagement on your video because if you do something where it's a little too like, uh, 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 right. like, you know, the AI will pick it up and like flag them. Sure. So and it changes like every day. Every day. So my advice uh, as of yesterday is uh, make breastfeeding videos. I'm gonna make videos where I'm breastfeeding, um, or being best breastfed, and see if those stay mini up. vids is <laughs> great. Clips for sale. Um, I I want clips. I think all of those sites you're able to do it. Yeah. And this is the amazing thing about the content creation. You could literally make a content and you can sell it. And on multiple different platforms yep. at the same right. time, at the same time. So, I mean, I wish I could make a porn video and put it out on, you know, so many different websites right. and make the revenue from that. Right. But uh, now we can. Yeah. And, and so I'm helping ladies. So I have a studio in Vegas. Oh, shit. I have multiple rooms. I have all the equipment. I'm helping like girls. I'm having girls. I'm teaching them how to hustle on OnlyFans, but also hustle on webcamming because webcamming is so popular right. and it's a lot more lucrative. But then also, um, you know, teaching them how to do content creation, brand um, type of influencer yeah. content and you know, content is king. Um, I also, I have a project in mind, too. Like, I'm going to put together private membership strip clubs. Okay. Events. Does that not exist? Doesn't even exist because I'm going to have cannabis companies there. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to have cannabis consumption and, like, you know, even have, like, uh, vendors of cannabis companies. We're going to have live stream OnlyFans girls. Yeah. And uh, strippers and porn stars. And comedians too. Sure. And music performers. So, big project. But the f main thing that I'm getting started is getting the girls started and, yeah. and teaching. I'm teaching a lot of the strippers that hey, even though you're going to the strip club, also utilize the content out of sure. it. Like make content that yeah. you're going to the strip club. Don't just rely on the Can you film little at bit the of guys. Club? So it's kind of like a gray area. You can film okay. in certain spots and you know but what, you bring what I would really love to do. And I, th I've talked to many club owners and you know, they're just not understanding to adapt to yeah. the new world right now, right. which is, you know, it's online. Soon we're going to go into the metaverse. Doing yeah. They're doing fine, they're but they <laughs> don't, they don't understand the power of the internet right. and how much money is being made. Right. There is a lot of lies going on you know, don't let those articles fool you about like just, it just came out that like Cardi B is making a hundred million dollars a month, but she's not showing any explicit videos. Cap. Cap. Well, on OnlyFans? Cap. Yes. Oh, is that funny? Well, so some of these people that went on uh, destroyed the people's um, trust in OnlyFans right at the beginning. There was people oh, that, yeah. There were celebrities that started pages and then never showed their pussies. And we were on... on Bella oh, Thorne. The Bella Thorne. Yes, actually... We were so mad. Actually, she gentrified the, sti so the whole funny. platform yeah. because she goes on Twitter or whatever, Instagram, and hey says, guys, hey, I'm going to go on OnlyFans. She made a million dollars. She... Like 24 hours. Put she sent a mass message with an unlocked picture mm -hmm. for two hundred dollars. Yeah. So these guys are like, oh, we Hell got yeah. a Disney kid. She's showing her yeah. tits. Yeah. Maybe her pussy. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Yeah. It was basically an Instagram type of picture. Nothing. And so what ended up happening was, you know, she made two million overnight, uh -huh. and Crashed so many platform. chargebacks. Yeah. Because men were pissed, were pissed. and I the see company your pussy. did not have enough capital yeah. to process that many. And so now, now, because she said, oh, I was doing a social experiment for a documentary, which I saw. Horseshit. Whack. Yeah. And she goes, oh, um, 
yeah, um, it's it's research, and I want to give back, and I'm going to do shout outs for the girls. Guess what she did? She did not do any shout outs. She she fucking lied about this that. This is like uh, and Johnny Depp's. Um, we are so <laughs> saying she's going to do the community service. Amber money? Turd, Amber yeah. Turd. Um, Amber no, Turd. That's so funny. I never heard that. She. Um, well, now we're suffering. So the what we are suffering is. Now we can only get at max tip of two hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't know it, it hit it. We that can way, only too. sell videos up to one hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't know that. Would you? And then we do you can, have thousand dollar content? We do you have a video that should go for a thousand dollars? I mean, yeah, I can. I can <laughs> yes, absolutely. Fine. Uh, well, that's what was exciting about yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah. Like when I was camming. Doing pregnant content yes. and Go hustling on. my ass <laughs> off, promoting, marketing myself on Reddit because yeah. I didn't want to put it on Instagram, so but funny. I needed Reddit. I'm sure I Reddit needed. loves pregnant, pregnant oh porn videos. God. I'm sure they love they it. They love that. Yeah. But I could not get my um, audience from Instagram, even though I really needed it. Yeah. Um, but so. So you never posted a single pregnant video on or po- picture on Instagram. Never. So think, when I had, so when I had my baby, people were confused. They were like, they were like, like "Where did this baby, baby come? Right. Where did the baby come Who from? Who gave you a baby? Who's who's <laughs> nephew niece is that? Like, right? Who gave you a baby? And How did you pull off having a baby? Because I'm, I'm slick, Rick. Okay. I, well, <laughs> I feel well. I feel that way. So I've 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 had I've been having uh, eye surgery for like two years, and I don't want to post the all the 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 blowback. I I saw that. It's all fucked up. I yeah, yeah. I don't want to post the blowback, and every couple of weeks I get a new procedure, and so I don't want to post the blowback of that stuff. So I just have to post old shit, because and you can do it. Right. You can be, you cannot People be yourself for are two years. Harder critics, yeah, and we're hardest on ourselves. Yeah. So it it's it's intimidating. It's also anxiety, you know, raising to post something yeah. where you look dramatically different. Right. But what. I ended up feeling like it wasn't until after I had the baby weight and then I really wanted to like showcase like my journey yeah. of like my fitness going down. I had so many men like as I started posting on Instagram, oh they loved me in my crevaceous yeah, um sure. body. Yeah, there's which so many I, things I, that come with I it. was not loving at I all. I don't know I don't know what it is as a man. I don't know why because when everything is round, it's animalistic. When you're skinny and ev- like, but like the rest of you is skinny and everything else is round, it's weird. It's like you just want to, you just want to. Oh, I did these. Like you're, I like did a caveman. these like ass worship yeah. videos. Oh my yeah. god, they I would wanna, go. I want to rub oil on random pregnant oh, ladies' I, bellies. And that was know, that. That, was, that was a big one. So I would. Do, I would go I to a random these, stranger and rub so you oil. You would literally on. do these videos where I would get baby oil and yeah. I would just rub it yeah. all over my. My belly and yeah. my boobs. We love oh, it. Oh, well, it was. Not, and it's not. And it's not not linear, right? It's like because the idea, the idea that I always have is like, it's like, oh no, that's my baby in there, right? Like, <laughs> there's like that's like that's that's the fantasy is like is like your seed impregnate just as much as women want to become pregnant, men want to impregnate things. Like that's so an animalistic many guys, idea. So many guys that would do shows with me, yeah. they would be like. Oh, he's like, can we role play? I'm like, that's my baby. Yeah. Oh, I did this video. Absolutely. Um, because I would look on YouTube or I'm sorry, Pornhub. Yeah. You know, I would go to the our encyclopedia, <laughs> and um, I would look like figure out like different yeah. um ideas. So I did this like pregnant home wrecker video, sure. <laughs> blackmail video. <laughs> So wait, you Huge. you showed up. You're like, this is your baby. Well, yeah. So I did a role play, and, and, and I pretended to, that you fuck me because it's your I, baby. Well, I said I would play like I'm gonna tell your fucking wife that this is your baby, and you did this. Unless you pay me what I want oh, and I give see. me what I want. I see. And then what I say too is. And your cock is mine. I own your cock. Yeah. Like, but I'm pregnant. Yeah. And I'm, and oh, that was like so popular, hot. I mean, you you know you have to get creative with all the videos. How was that you're how was pregnancy sex? This is what we want to hear about. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I was so horny. Right. Out of control. Out of control. Horny. Wanted it all the time. Yeah. And then it actually helped me when I did my videos, which was really nice. And, and it's like no consequence, no consequence, cream, cream um, pies. It's fantastic. That actually helped me get really familiar with squirting. 
No shit. Yeah. So we want to see this journey. I know we just need I need I need that thousand dollar pregnancy from month one to month nine content. Uh, we need that there. We we've maxed out our time. I there's no there's uh, there's no like like limit to how much I want to talk to you always. I know. Um, I one know. more time. The, the website is onyxmuse.com. You can go to my free page. Oh, I'm sorry. Onyxsocialclub.com. I'm going to be opening my website very soon, but you could get a free trial to my more spicier page. This drops Monday. Everybody's going to miss you at Sapphire. Uh, is yes. there going to be any comment? Is there going to be any content coming from Sapphire that we can see on Monday yes. when this drops? I will um, try to make as much content while I'm there. I also have an after party after. So, I mean, big things, big, big things tonight. I am so excited. And then and when you're there, are you going to try to figure out what date you come back? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to <laughs> do this so good that they would have me back again. Yeah. And um, I'm hoping to also come back for Exotica yeah. in October. Um, so next month, hopefully yeah. I can pull it off. All right. Well, I really I really like talking to you. Thank you for being here. Um, Thank you. Let me know what things we can do to help promote and pump you. Um, yes, make sure to follow my Twitter, Onyx Muse XXX, and my Instagram, Onyx Muse XO. We'll put whatever links that we can without getting dragged into the And also follow my radio show, Green Room Radio. I just started that. So if you want to hear more of my um, radio show, I have some really good guests that came out, and I am getting involved. Yes, and That's actually, me. when you come to Vegas, yeah. I would love you to come to my studio. To Let's do an episode of my show. I would love that. Um, this is the Sexy People Podcast. Um, check us out on YouTube. Check us out on iTunes. All the places where podcasts are, we're there. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Uh, one more time for the guests. Thank, Thank you. I'm Onyx being here. News. Uh, check out all of her stuff. Uh, whether uh, whether you like her tiny or whether you like her <laughs> pregnant, <laughs> literally every base has been covered. Uh, what was the original one? You said you said you said young teenage. What was your original thing? Teen um, teen type cast. Teen type, and now you're and now you're sexy. And now milf. I'm the sexiest milf on the and, internet. And um, something to do with uh, making lactation videos. Thank you guys yeah. for watching.